Let down by elected leaders. That is how some neighbors in the city of North Tonawanda are feeling once again. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. Mary Alice has the night off tonight. It is a story Two on Your Side has extensively covered. And as our Rob Hackford reports now, the cryptocurrency facility that folks have been complaining about recently is now taking over a power plant. Rob, what's that all about? Yeah, Scott, this week the State Public Service Commission approved the transfer of the former Fortistar natural gas power plant on Erie Avenue to Digihost, a Canadian cryptocurrency company that we've heard a lot about because of noise issues and environmental concerns. And while the commission said clearly their ruling could really only look at the effect on electricity costs, which they found none for neighbors, it represents something else. I feel like we're not being listened to and taken seriously. Karen Hans is among a group of neighbors in the city of North Tonawanda that's been fighting the cryptocurrency company Digihost ever since their plant started making a lot of noise back in February after moving in across the street. They've reduced the noise somewhat. I still hear it in the position that my house is in being so close to the facility. The project was the source of a lot of secrecy and concerns, which did result in Digihost agreeing to construct these acoustic walls, which sit unfinished. Deborah Gondek tried to halt the project early on as worries about energy and water use for other crypto facilities arose around the state. Her efforts continue, but this week's decision was a letdown. Most municipalities like North Tonawanda don't have zoning codes or noise ordinances that address specifically Bitcoin mining issues. So we were really counting on the Public Service Commission. Once again, you know, the residents of Western New York uh, are suffering from the decision of, you know, an unelected appointed body. That's Chris Murawski from the Clean Air Coalition of Western New York, which has been working with neighbors like Gondek and Hans, advocating for environmental oversight of crypto mining at the local and state level. The New York legislature has passed a crypto moratorium, but when we asked the governor's office about whether it would be vetoed or passed, we were sent these remarks from Governor Hochul made three weeks ago. That is one of the 1,007 bills that have been on my desk. Uh, we've had a lot to do, so I'll be reviewing all the uh, the uh, positions to, you know, for and against and have a chance to evaluate that in the next couple of weeks, couple of months. And we still wait, given that a couple weeks have already passed. Neighbors on Sherwood Avenue are continuing to wait to see if their concerns are answered. And it's important to note, while the plant has been transferred to Digihost, they are still waiting for an air permit from the state DEC to operate. So they will not be operating for now. So even though neighbors are concerned that its operation could lead to more noise in the future, we do not know if that will occur. In the Information Center, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.